everyone, it's Silver Phoenix K here, and on August 3rd, 2011, I recorded an interview with Blink and You Miss It. Now, stuff happened on the old channel, like I was, I don't know exactly what happened, but I just never got around to uploading it, but I, st I keep all my Skype calls, even the very first one I made, so uh, I still had the uh, interview with me, so I thought, okay, when he ends his, ch when he closes the channel for good, or when he, like, finishes the last video, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna put this interview up, and it'll be hopefully a nice send-off, because I haven't seen it in, like, two years, but I, uh, he's, rever he reversed and reversed his channel, so I think today would be the day to upload that interview, so for a quick little note for my fans, uh, I'm using my old username, SFK301, since that's when, when since that's when it was recorded, and, uh, yeah, this video, uh, interview's two years old, not cutting anything out, it's gonna be how it was recorded, unless there's, like, a minute, like, of no talking, for whatever reason, so, and I'm not going to watch this interview until it's uploaded to YouTube, so it's going to have some kind of mystical quality to everyone, but before we start the interview, all I need to say is, Josiah, you're awesome, you're an inspiration to many Let's Players, and many people in general, and I hope you keep doing what you're doing. All right, and without further ado, I hope you enjoy the interview. Sneak up on you and, like, jump on top of you and, like, take your mic and start taking over the video like a jerk. <laughs> and I'll beat you over the head with your own printer. Ha ha ha. You know, ha, back, because, you know what? Right before you start that sentence, I was just about to, I just hit the record button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, That's guys. Awesome. It's, hey, guys, it's SFK301, and I'm here with... Hello, people. This is the guy who's beating him up with a printer. Blink and you miss it. And today I'm interviewing Mr. Blink because after a total of 10 months, yeah, not 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 long at all, uh, he's finally coming back from his uh, hiatus as a Let's Player. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So I got just a couple of questions for you. So Okay. Uh, what are the origins of your username and motto just that that's the blink and you miss it and then that's the part with the, your favorite up here um those both were just from the very beginning uh the your favorite LP or thing was just me randomly trying to think of a catchphrase and it just kind of stuck uh, i just was i was recording ocarina of time and i was like this is really awkward. What am I even going to say? I'm talking to people who aren't even going to watch this video or like like it's it's so weird. It's nerve-wracking <clears throat> to to record your first let's play video because you know that you're going to put it on the internet. You know that there's potentially people who are going to see this thing, but the fact that there's even that possibility that there's even the possibility that someone out there in the universe in the vast cosmos is going to hear your voice on a video game video just phrases you up and like makes you go into these little spasms of creativity and um uh, so you uh so so i was just trying to think of something I'm wow like, I, I didn't hello, think hello people <laughs> this is blink and you miss it and i'm your favorite lp -er, i think <laughs> like but it just kind of stuck and yeah. then as far as as far as blink and you miss it that was when i was I was actually making some te test videos um, to make sure my stuff would work when I was recording videos. This is like this is like uh, September, August, September of 2009. I actually spent about a month or two before I actually began Let's Playing, like making preparations, and uh, I'm just that OCD. And uh, and so the whole blink the the name blink and you miss it just kind of fell into my head and it just kind of fit well and it didn't even make sense i don't speed run i'm not a very i don't necessarily play through games very quickly and yet it all just kind of fell into place and i was like hey that's actually a pretty good username uh yeah but what's up with the double k there's two k's in blink <laughs> blink and you miss it without two k's was already no. taken oh okay i got gotcha. you uh what about uh your vlog flip the tortoise Oh, flip the tortoise. Um, gosh, uh, how did the name come? Uh, no, I mean just like, just do you still use that, or I mean, how did the name no. come and did you still use it? Do you still use it? Well, the name came because I was just trying to think of random names that would be cool and catchy, and flip the tortoise just kind of randomly worked. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was thinking of a bunch of other names, but uh, that was the one that fit the best, and um, it just kind of fit with what the content would be, just really random, really weird, and 
and then as far as the channel itself, I was wanting to – this is about six months before partnership ever became a possibility for Les Players when I actually did all this. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I was wanting to try and go for partnership on YouTube in general and just see what it was like, you know, to try – test the waters i guess mm-hmm. and i figured you know since you can't be a let's playing partner which isn't the case anymore obviously but back then <laughs> uh i might as well do like vlogs or something like that and go for partnership with that <clears throat> and so and plus i also wanted to just do fun stuff like be able to share the random dramatic videos that i make with my friends with with the people online like uh, destin duel 2 was on there that's just an example of the kind of random jank that me and my friends do sometimes uh those random like <laughs> violent sword fighting gun video things <laughs> but that's how that that's what all that came from and how all that worked out uh uh what is your equipment as in that is dazzle uh mike and uh editor Ooh. or well, uh, well capture card excuse me yeah um <clears throat> to be completely honest the only uh, okay, here's what I'll say. This is all changing in January. Okay, everything that I list here is going to be different in January because I'm I'm currently a Mac user and I'm will I'm going to become a PC user with my videos in January. Um, so currently I'm using something called a Data Video DAC 200 for my uh for my capture card. It's a Mac compatible one. Mm-hmm. Um. Then for the mic, I honestly have no idea what the what the name of it, brand of it, any of that. I have no idea what it is. It's it's one of those mics that you put on a stand. It's uh, one of those like nicer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I got mics, you. you know, and uh, and then um, for my editor, I'm currently using Final Cut Express Four, which is the editor I've used for four years now, mm-hmm. um, and it's actually. Oh yeah, you went uh, you went blank. Going to final cut it for me, and so uh, I'm going to change out and move into a different editor, which is probably going to be a PC one. All right, that awesome man. Uh, have you ever uh, uh actually no, that's sort of this question. What do you do when you're not let's playing? Um, well, when I'm not like just what do I do like for fun or whatever? Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. I play games, I do some writing, I do graphic design. Just sometimes, sometimes the graphic design has a purpose. Other times, I just do it for the fun of it. Uh, I hang with friends. We hit Taco Bell a lot. Um, <laughs> I love Taco Bell. Yeah, we, we, me, me and my friends, we we just have a bunch of random stuff we'll do. Like pretty, we don't really go anywhere. We just kind of drive around and hang out. Like. Uh, go on a lot of walks, both myself and with friends. Um, uh, I mean, that pretty much sums up most of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, go to work, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what do you do as a job right now? Uh, I am a host at a restaurant. Uh, I'm not going to say what restaurant for legal reasons. That is totally cool. Uh, have you ever scrapped the Let's Play? And let me just explain this because you're probably a little confused. This is as of you you started recording it and then you just like didn't feel it because I've had that happen to like a ton of, of my work. Yes, actually. Um, originally, Super Mario Galaxy was not going to be my third LP. Originally, uh, Paper Mario was going to be my third LP, oh. and I actually got as far as recording the first episode, and oh. as I started out, I was just like, you know what, this just doesn't flow for me, this just doesn't feel right. It was, I hadn't finished Galaxy, or I hadn't finished uh, Mario 64 yet, I was still recording that, and it was still going to have about a month left, but, okay. yeah. yeah. Hey, can you just give me a quick second door, I'm cutting this, I'm cutting that I'm cutting this little part out. Just hold on one okay. second. Sorry, someone's Good at night. my door. Okay.
Ah, uh, sorry about that. Uh, God. No problem. All right, I'm, all right. Next question just, just popped in my head. Uh, I'm curious. Do you have any siblings slash parents that will bother you in the middle of your let's play work? Um, I yeah, I do have. Like, there is more than just me. I'm not. I'm not a single person just living in a little vacuum. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not Mr. Hoover, but. Uh, not that Mr. Hoover exists. I'm just throwing that out there. Anyways, uh, yeah, I do have siblings. I do have parents. Do they uh, like? Have you have you ever like came across where like a sibling or parent like walked in in the middle of your, in the middle of our recording? No, not really. I just like let them know that I'm recording, and they're like, okay, and so I just go record pretty much. I do that too, but I have to record in my living room, which. Oh, I gotcha. I record in my bedroom. Lucky you. <laughs> Uh, uh, what inspired you to become a Let's Player? Like, what is the story of your, uh, like, like, what, what, like, first got you into, like, wanting to be a Let's Player? Who, um, well, <laughs> uh, this is actually kind of an interesting, weird story, because, uh, well, anyway, um, <laughs> basically, summer of 2009, uh, I was... I, I was buying a lot of virtual console games, mm -hmm. and I was wanting to find out more about Super Mario RPG, because at the time, that was one of the very few good RPGs that was on virtual console. But, like, some of the Final Fantasies that are out now were not out then on virtual console, and uh, so I wanted to find out what it was like. So I started looking up on YouTube for videos for it, and I wanted to find out what it was and all this kind of stuff, and I stumbled across this video, um, and this guy is just talking over the vi over the video i'm like what, what, what are you doing dude i want I, and so i go to a different video turns out to be about the same guy <laughs> and so i'm getting more and more irritated and then finally i'm like oh my gosh what in the wh wh what are you doing dude? why are you talking over this i just want the gameplay that's all i want and i couldn't escape him i kept searching for more and more like videos and it kept being either the same guy or it kept being some other random person who was talking over it. i'm like you know what fine fine i give up i'm gonna go to episode one of whatever the crap that was and i'm just gonna watch the game and so i did and uh, about six months later um it was – I found out – well, I didn't find out, but it, it was about six months later that I started making my own Let's Plays, and it was about a year after those first encounters that I actually got to meet Jugga Conroy, so that was pretty cool. Wait. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just going to, like, break the news to everyone, and I'm like, yeah, that's, he's talking about Jugga. I had the same experience, but that was with Platinum, with his mm. Platinum thing. What, you actually met Jugga Conroy, or as in you've – like, what do you mean? By that. As in, like, I just, I like, as in, I got to meet him. Like, I've talked to him before, but oh, very, very cool. Yeah, so it was, it was really kind of a mind blowing thing. <laughs> like, it was really funny. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually in a Skype call with another friend of mine, um, when he like responded to something, and uh, and we were both screaming like little girls. Like, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Um. Uh... Uh, how do you interact with your fans? Like, like how do you like make sure your fans have a part in your let's plays or in your channel? Like, do you like say stuff in like videos? Like, say, oh, do you want me to do this or that? And um, I really don't. I really don't let fans influence the flow of the games that I do because typically I have my own way that I've always played through the game. Um, like for example, Ocarina of Time, um, I wouldn't have accepted any influence, like suggestions kind of thing for what I should do in what order, because I've always had this certain order I've done everything in. Um, however, uh, I do ask for and get a lot of really good input just about commentary kind of stuff. Like for example, um, uh, the videos that are going to be going up soon, um, like starting tomorrow, the videos that, that I've made now for my return for Galaxy 2, um, yeah. uh, episode 12 kind of, I, I go into this enormously long rant uh, <laughs> that lasts the majority of the video um, about Let's Playing Partnerships and uh, uh, my feelings on the community and their attitude towards said partnerships. Um, and so 
at the end of that, I was or rather uh, in episode 13, I kind of took a step back. I'm like, OK, do you guys actually like it when I kind of go off topic and go on my own little rants? Or do you prefer it when I just talk about the gameplay? So I definitely do on the commentary side get a lot of input uh, whenever I'm thinking about doing a graphical feature or something like that I get a bunch of be- different people to take a look at it let me know what they think of it if, if it could use improvement or if they think it looks good or um, but yeah oh very cool uh, I'm curious like when you started Ocarina and I don't know how far you were into Ocarina like part wise bef- when you started 64 but if I recall they were kind of ended they kind of ended around the same time mm-hmm uh, did, I'm curious, did subscribers come easy for you? Because I've, I've had a friend who started Let's Playing and he got a lot of subscribers really fast and I have, I, and I have another friend who really is struggling. It's all about the game you're doing, to be completely honest. When, mm-hmm. it, when you're that early on, when you're, when you're just starting out, it's all about the game you're doing because uh, the game you're doing is going to influence how people find you. Mm-hmm. Uh and so the reason that I even began Mario 64, which I'm not glad that I have this reason now, but basically uh, Ocarina of Time was just not – it literally was not getting me any exposure. Like I think I got two subscribers in my first month, uh, and it was around that point that I was like, okay, you know what? I think a Mario game might bring more people in just because I was going like, you know, I don't really want to make videos for people who don't exist. <laughs> yeah. And so – and so I did do Mario 64, and it was really amazing just how much things picked up. And through Mario 64, through the people who discovered Mario 64, they also discovered Ocarina of Time. And so both Let's Plays uh, started getting viewed a lot more than they were than, than they would have been on their own, you know. And um, and so eventually, about five months after I started Super Mario 64, I had like 200 subscribers or something. So mm-hmm. it, it's it's all about your game choice early on. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm not I'm not telling anybody to do a mainstream game just because it's mainstream. But um, recommended. If, yeah, it's recommended if you want to get viewers more quickly than you would otherwise like you would you would get viewers otherwise um but if you're doing mainstream games it's going to get you uh following quicker than anything else and when you are first starting out there's nothing for people to find you except for the games that you're doing you know what i'm saying yeah uh yeah but like my biggest my biggest advice would be even if like, like, don't don't let the number of views or the amount of exposure decide you for what you want to do. If you would rather not do something mainstream, then don't. If you're going to have more fun doing something else, then do something else. Mm-hmm. Because if you're having fun, then so will your viewers, and that's ultimately what makes a good video. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have no idea how much money I've spent on, like, on games I've bought because I saw, like, a certain Let's Player of mine do a game series that I was not familiar of. But I watched yeah. it because I, I like that Let's Player, and I really started playing the game. Like, you, Metroid Prime, kind of got me into playing that game. Mm-hmm. All uh, right. So, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite LP that you've done, and why? My favorite LP that I've done... So far. So far. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put in the completed ones, okay? I'm, I'm going to leave Majora's Mask and Galaxy 2 Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Um hands down would be galaxy because it was such a like it was such a long let's play and it was such a fun let's play that it just really from beginning to end you can definitely see this kind of evolution that happened just like me personally i see this evolution that happened from when i started galaxy to when i ended galaxy just such a difference of of uh where i was not only as a as a let's player but just kind of I've matured over the course of that game. I learned a lot over the course of that game. It was a very fun game to do. It, it was actually the beginning of the whole penguins thing, which which a lot of people like. I'm gonna ask about that later, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is and now following that question? What is the least favorite games that you've done, and why? My least favorite Let's Play that I've done, probably Le- Metroid Prime. Uh, ironically, because it was a fun game to do. But as a project, when I look at it as a project, it's the one I'm the least enthusiastic about because it, it, there was a lot of ideas I had for that project that just didn't th- – that either they went through and they weren't as impressive as I'd hoped or they weren't as cool as I hoped or they didn't go through at all. Um, and my commentary was often pretty stinted or, st- or 
not stinted, stunted uh, in the uh, in the actual videos because uh, most of my energy honestly went into Galaxy, and so I didn't give Prime the amount of time and energy I should have. Uh, it's a good let's play, and it's it's a cool let's play, but it just of my projects, it's my least favorite. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't know about you. Not, I didn't know about you, but when you made that one year anniversary video, I found out Prime part one of Prime came out on my birthday. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, May seventh. Yeah. Um, well, can I get a quick synopsis on the other LPs they did? That's Ocarina of Time, uh, Super Mario sixty four, and if I'm correct, eight bit is enough. Yeah, like what kind of synopsis? Yeah, uh, just just uh, kind of what like why you liked it or why you didn't like it or kind of both. Sorry. Um, eight bit is enough was just a flat out hilarious fun let's play to do like it's it's not my normal kind of project i would do there's it's honestly most of the commentary is laughter <laughs> um it's it's just a giant co-commentary session um but it was a really fun it was a really fun game to do because i'm a huge homestar runner fan uh i haven't i haven't checked their site in a long time just because they haven't been making content for forever but uh both me and thinker are huge homestar runner fans and so it was just a blast to be doing a game that was so chock full of references to that to that series that we both loved <laughs> and uh and so it was just a lot of fun it, it's it was just a very fun project you know it was very short but very fun um ocarina of time was cool because it, well and is cool now because it, it really is just this it's kind of like galaxy where you look at the very beginning and you just see my very first effort at ever being a let's player and and how shaky and how nervous i was and how much i was in my box and then you compare that to like the 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 episode right before the finale of Ocarina of Time, where I'm just freaking singing to the to the horse race music <laughs> like crazy, and and it's just crazy. Just you just see, it's really a gratifying thing to see how far I came through the Let's Play, like how much it pulled me out of that box I was in. Um, and then Mario 64 was just a fun Let's Play. It's the one that actually ended up. Well, it's the one that kind of introduced me to a lot of the friends I have now because they kind of discovered my videos through that and mm -hmm. through that let's play. And so, um, and so it's a, it's a cool let's play because it's just kind of a it's kind of a staple of my channel now to do Mario games, and that that let's play is why. Yeah, so far, if I'm correct, so far all the games you've done have been on your Wii, either by virtual console or just being a Wii game. If I'm am I correct? Yeah, except eight bit is enough. Yes. Oh, eight bit is enough was actually PC. Oh, I thought that was on Virtual Console. It is. It is on Virtual Console, but you can also do it on PC, and it was just a lot simpler for me at the time to go PC than uh, than Virtual Console. Oh yeah, I I totally understand that. Uh, uh, what do you what what so far have you thought of like your like of Super Mario Galaxy two and uh, Majora's Mask? Do do you have high hopes for them, or because of your hiatus, do you think like oh they aren't going to be as good, or because I'm like going to be out of it, like I'm not going to know what I'm doing, you know that? No, I I wouldn't say that that'll be the case. Um, Majora's Mask it was always a little bit like like it was always that project. I thought, man, when I do that, that's gonna be an awesome and so much fun and stuff. And it is gonna be awesome and fun and all that. It's just um, <clears throat> it's just I it's been so long since I've actually played through the entire game that uh. It's just going to be one of those projects where you just kind of have to double check what you're doing before each video and just kind of know, okay, what am I doing in this video? What am I trying to accomplish? It's a little more, it's a little more cautiously treading uh, in your recording, but it's still a lot of fun just to do the game just because it's such a great game. Mm -hmm. And then Galaxy 2, um, Galaxy 2 is going to have the most changes to it uh, of the two because I'm – there's changes with the graphical system. The the in video star selects are no longer there because annotating those took 45 minutes of video, and I just flat out don't have the time to do that kind of thing. <laughs> um, con especially considering that putting a video up in the first place on YouTube takes me over like 45 minutes. But um, but yeah, it's it, I have high po I have high hopes for both of them. I think by the end, I think by the time that I finish both of those projects. Uh, my channel will kind of return to the way that it was before my hiatus. Um, you know, kind of, kind of similar, uh, similar everything really is is what I'm hoping for. That it'll kind of reestablish my presence and and that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. But I, I'm excited. 
I told, I'm curious, just, I'm just I'm wondering, I, I have you in my, like, box so I can kind of, like, look at all my friends and stuff just on their subscriber status. I'm curious, uh-huh. have you, like, have you noticed, have you, like, lost any, like, subscribers, or have they pretty much all been, like, really loyal and staying with you, like, this whole, like, this whole ten months, like me? Um, yes, I've lost some, some regular viewers, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I think that the people who are still watching are the ones who really loved my videos in the first place, and that means a heck of a lot more to me than, oh, random Joe Blow number four who watched my video 500 times, you know? Uh, Having those people who are watching it because they actually love it and who've actually stuck with the channel means a lot more to me than, oh, my statistics are a certain level, oh my goodness. (laughs) Oh my god, my subscriber level's over 9,000. (laughs) Meh. (laughs) <laughs> I'm curious. I'm just wondering. This is like I've just seen these videos and like I've seen it in your let's plays and it just bothers me. Why are some why are some like let's play parts given titles and others not? I don't know. It just might be like just perfect like that. Either like everything's gotta have a title or not. Just just why do you have uh, why do some like videos of yours have titles and the others like don't? Metroid Prime. I kind Th- of did a test count. run. Metroid Pro- well, but Metroid Prime is important because Metroid Prime, I kind of gave the whole title thing a test run mm-hmm. just to see how much I liked it. And to be completely honest, I had a lot of trouble naming some of the videos because unless there was something that especially jumped out at me as an obvious title, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> I was just like, meh, I'll just throw in what we actually did. And so it's like space pirates or exploring <laughs> the cavern or, you know, and that's not th- – those aren't interesting, fun titles. So um, I'm not too worried about – I mean, as long as, like, the initial, like, Super Mario Galaxy 2, you know, episode, whatever, as long as that is pretty standard and pretty predictable, I don't mind putting a random title on one of the videos. As long as, like, if that video has something that just especially stands out to me or that really defines that video, then I'll give it a title um, from time to time. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I like to give my videos t- uh titles like you said it is hard sometimes because i usually record in mass mm-hmm. uh, i do too oh yeah so that was um, that's my that was going to be my next question do you record in mass or do you record the same day you upload it yeah per- personally it'd be very impractical for me to do daily uploads and record each day's video that day um it would just uh, the way that i record the way that i edit it would just take a massive amount of time out of every single day that I can't necessarily afford. So I'd rather spend, I'd rather spend uh, several hours, you know, once or twice a week than spend several hours every day. Oh yeah. I, I totally hate you. Now back to the title thing. Yeah. I understand where you come from where they're like hard to name, but I like to give my uh, videos titles because it just adds like a certain amount of like depth and like, you're kind of like your own, like it just shows that it's your video with a title. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah uh are there any like names this is like your little shout out time for all your uh do you have any people to name that have ever like helped you either like they've done some like something for you like editing or artwork or uh or they've or they co-commentate with you like a decent amount like are there any people you really have to think they make tracks for you anything like that oh my goodness well there's just i mean there's a ton of people who've who've been very influential in in helping me out uh and who had who I would like to thank uh but um just re- like I'm just thinking people who've been a little more recent um a little more recent than some folks who may have helped me out at the beginning of Galaxy 2 or something like that you know over mm-hmm. the past over my hiatus really the the people who've been really helpful to me uh Kevin J 2010 um uh uh, Kevin, yeah, Kevin J twenty ten definitely. Grand Pyromania, huge, huge, huge help to me. Um, he's a really cool guy. Um, uh, Zemoratrix, um, Chugga Conroy has helped me out with a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Yoshi to Mario, mm-hmm. uh, Koshi Sushi, um, Dark Fool ninety nine. Uh, there's just yeah, there, there's a whole lot of people who just even even if if it's been a while since we've talked like or or even if it's it was just something small they helped me out with like it's just been those little things that kind of built up and uh were really helpful over the last few months of the hiatus you know 
Yeah, totally get you. Like that's one of the things I want to do in my new let in my new let's play is have uh just have one of my friends that are on Skype. Like if I'm gonna record or something, one of my friends on Skype, I'm just gonna be like, hey, want to like record this part with me? You mm -hmm. know, because in my finale, in my finale, like I noticed like Arc me and my friends co commentation like went really well. I'm like, wow, I'd like to bring this to more videos, but not have like yeah. a complete co op channel. Yeah. Uh. Any future LPs? Now I know this is kind of a stupid question because you like had you have to finish Galaxy Two and Majora's Mask, but are, do you have any uh, future LPs in your arsenal that you can name that you might that you like really want to do? Um, that I can name at this time, no. Uh, and it's not just because it's not because I like to be secretive. It's just more because I would rather. I would rather not say something and then come out with it later than say something and end up not wanting to do it and letting people down who were excited for it. Mm -hmm. However, however, uh, if you watch the video that I put up today, the song return song video, mm -hmm. there are multiple little hints as to things I am considering for future Let's Plays. Oh, uh, uh, Paper Mario. I'm I'm not gonna say confirm or deny anything. However, I will say there's at least two or three little hints in there as to things I might consider doing in the future. So yeah, I think I th I I I you don't have to answer this, but I think there are. Uh... I think there was like either a Super Paper Mario or a Paper Mario reference in there because I it, it's like it was like paper some now it was you were like paper some now no, uh, and yeah. Um, and I have three more questions left. Uh, okay. Uh, what's the whole story behind the penguin thing? Because that's kind of become a big thing. Like just like it actually became a lot bigger than I ever thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <clears throat> basically, uh, I was doing Galaxy, and uh, there it was that level where you have to get the golden uh, shell from underwater and bring it to the penguin teacher and i just randomly I, I was just trying to be funny and i was like oh wait my teacher doesn't recognize me um <laughs> and so because <laughs> because the, the teacher's like are you even one of my students and then that just grew and then every time i started seeing penguins i would just do random things like i hate them and, th and then it ended up like turning into this massive thing that's continued to this day yeah i don't know if you know but ping that like little penguins is on lp catchphrases yeah, uh, I actually I was really surprised that was on there. Actually, he never told me he was going to do that, <laughs> but I just saw that on there. I was like, wow, that's like it, if that's on LP catchphrases, if that's what I'm really like known for the most. Then it got so out of proportion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Uh, what what would you what would you do to me if uh, if I told you uh, my past descendants were penguins from uh, from uh, from uh, Freeze the flame galaxy. You know, this is a kid friendly recording. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. And this is my final question. This comes like real personally from me. Okay. Can you, can you sing a song? Most likely the Kabor Gabor song. The Kabor Gabor song? Yeah. I know oh, you man. haven't sung it in a year. Maybe actually, more. actually, I sung it at my 1,000 subscriber stream. I'm just trying to remember what it was. Oh yeah, by uh, the way, I can't wait for that stream on Saturday. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there, Mr. Oh, Samick, awesome. Mr. Samick. Sweetness. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. It's the first time I've streamed in like forever. But um, okay, I'm gonna find the video and I'm gonna sing along with it because I can't quite remember all of it. So let me look for that real quick. All right. Uh, there we are. Having a My Videos page is so useful. <laughs> okay. Whoa, you started way too quick past me. Okay. Right. But sag it. <laughs> That's one of your catchphrases too. Walking through our rule, I spot a tree. Kapoor Gibor staring down at me. Waiting for a speech to lay down like that. Cause while he's talking, I'll just go and take a nap. Man, U S E L E S S. Seven letters all together, spelling useless. That's the kind of info we see when talking to the stupid Alab in his tree. And I don't think I'll stay much longer in this spot. It better be to throw down and then shot. Then waste my life here in his long spiel about the ways to play a song of letters week for real man. P L E A S S E. Not the way you spell it, but you get my meaning. Take that bird down or just kill me rather than hear his stupid droning speech. 
You gotta do the Author copyright part. and Hyrule only. See N64 for details. Awesome. For a second, I thought you were gonna forget <laughs> the copyright part. I'm like, no, that's one of the great. That's one of the like the top moments of the song. <laughs> uh, actually, okay. I was looking for that video the other day because like I want to do Ocarina of Time, but I, I, I'm gonna credit you. Don't worry, but I want to be able to sing that just during my. Oh yeah. I'm curious. You said, have you had a parody song for every of all the all of your like games that you've done so far? Have you done like a parody? Uh, song? So far, so far, Galaxy Two and uh, Majora's Mask do not yet have songs, but every other one has pretty much had a song somewhere in there. Metroid Prime. Well, I, I take that back. Eight bit is enough in Metroid Prime. I mean, Metroid Prime kind of had the whole new suit song, but that wasn't really produced produced. It was just kind of something I did in there and it was really fun. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, a whole new suit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, eight bit is enough. Didn't really have that. Uh, but eight bit is enough, even though it's like one of my bigger official numbered let's plays, it's not quite as, um, it's like, not like, because it was such a short project, it wasn't like a main, main LP. I guess it's, mm -hmm. I guess it could technically side LP. Yeah, I get, it's really my only side LP that I have because I essentially just do two main LPs at once. Mm -hmm. I, I've never considered one of my LPs to be a side LP to the other. Um, and then um, uh, Majora's Mask doesn't have one yet. I actually, I, it's a funny story, I actually had a big, big thing lined up that I was going to do. Really elaborate. I had a, a couple, there was a couple of pretty big name people who had agreed to be singers in it. Um, some less players, but uh, that kind of fell through when uh, quite some time ago, N not that anybody ever said they weren't going to do it, but just because I'm sure by this time they've all forgotten. <laughs> but um, Majora's Mask probably will at some point. Uh, it'll just be one of those things where like somewhere in the LP, something is going to happen where I'm like, I can make a song out of that. Um, and same for Majora's, or same same for Galaxy Two, I should say. Uh, awesome, yeah, because that's one of the things I've borrowed, and I if you, you can't see that because I don't have my video on, but I put air quotes around borrowed. Uh, yeah, I do kind of enjoy singing, like just singing in my videos. I mean, it's not, I don't like produce songs yeah. or anything, but just it's kind of fun to do. Yeah, it's fun stuff. It's I'm just along, I'm along fun to tunes. randomly do, and it and it helps fill like what <laughs> I've all I've often noticed the times I sing the most are the videos where I just have no idea what my commentary should be, so I just start making up something. <laughs> yeah, do you kind of plan out your commentaries, or you just go with the flow? I just go with the flow. Uh, okay. There's there's been very very few times I've ever actually plotted out commentary, and that was back in Metroid Prime where I actually had to do some post commentary for a few videos and very, very few people ever caught that I did that because I did a pretty good job of acting like it was live. So. Oh yeah. Very cool. Uh, well, thank you so much. I have no questions unless you thought that you were going to get a question. Uh, and I didn't say it. You're free to give that. No, not that I can think of, really. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much, Blink. It's sure it was thing. amazing. I'm honored to be interviewing you. Well, thank you for interviewing me. Ah, oh, you're totally welcome. Well, that's Blink. You missing everybody. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, we are done. Hold on one second.